If you made it to this video, thank you for checking in on me. Stick around, subscribe, hit that like button, come back and see some of my other videos, leave me a comment. So I appreciate all of those things. Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Color Pan, which was a project that was created on YouTube by Misty with the help of Danny, and I'm going to link both of them down below. This is a project created to help you get through your ColourPop products. It is going to run from January 18th to of this year to January 17th of 2023. So this is my first update, and the updates are on the 18th of the month. We can pick from three to six products, any of the ColourPop lines, from the regular line, the Soul, and the Fourth Ray line. And we set our own goals and our own pace. And the hashtag for this one is color pan, color pan on both YouTube and Instagram. So I did start this last month and I introduced it. <clears throat> and this is my first update. And honestly, when we talk about the numbers, you're going to see that I have made almost no progress. Despite the fact that, yes, I have been using them. I haven't tracked my uses, which is probably what I should have been doing because the weight changes haven't been significant at all. But we'll run through them real quick and I'll let you know where I'm at with things. So um, I started with my lippy pencil in O Snap and my goal is to finish this off. It weighed 5.9 grams when I started. It's now at 5.6 and I have it marked on my piece of paper. So hopefully you can see that it has gone down just a little bit. And I have been using it as much as possible under multiple lipsticks just to try and get some use out of it. It's still nice and creamy, but I want to use it before it goes bad. So that's that one. Then I have a couple of blushes. I have the Super Shock Cheeks in Birthday Suit and Prenup. I've been using them both together and layering them, but weight-wise, um, Birthday Suit, which is this one, went from 28.5 grams to 28.1 grams and it really doesn't look like I'm making much progress. You can still see the pattern on the outside, but I'm using it at least, so that's good. Prenup went from 29 grams to 28.9. Now this one at least looks like I've gotten a little bit more out of it and it's almost a creamier where the other is a little bit more of a powdery, powderier, pow more powdery, whatever the words would be, um, type of product. So, like I said, things aren't looking good when you look at the weight count on these things. But I have used them, and I've used them each at least about eight times in the last month. So, it'll take me a while, but the goal is to get to pan, and if I can get to pan, to maybe finish them. So then, I also have a Super Shock Highlighter. This is in Smoke and Whistles, and it's lovely. It's very creamy. It went from 28 grams to 27.7 grams, and I kind of had to put it together because when I was trying to use it, I flipped an entire chunk onto the bathroom floor, or carpet, rather. So I picked it up and made sure there wasn't any fur on it because of my dogs, and tried to smoosh it back together, but I'm having a heck of a time with this, and I'll use it as much as I can, but honestly, I kind of hate it. So... We'll see what we can do to get through it. Um, I did see Pan when I flipped the chunk out of it, and it would have been a significant change in weight, but that just seemed like a waste, and I wasn't going to just let it go just because I'm klutzy. So then we move on to the liquid lipsticks, and I have two of the Lux lipsticks. I have this one is Fatal. This one has not changed in weight at all. I know I've used it a couple of times, but not enough to make a difference. This one is the one that I can never say correctly, La, La Auberge, I believe. This one from 32.8 grams to 32.7 grams. I am wearing the Old Snap Pencil and this over a berry stain just to try and get the color to not be so brown on me. So using them, not getting real far with them. The next thing I have is the one and only lip gloss, and it's from that same Lux collection, and this is in Panache. It has gone from 32.3 grams to 32.2 grams. It takes forever to get through these things, I swear. This, is, this one is going to be a long haul, I'm pretty sure. Now, 
The only other product that I included in this project was part of the Disney collection, and it was the I See the Light um, Super Shock Eyeshadow Single. And this one went from 18.5 grams to 18.4, and it, it always looked bad because it came in broken. I do have a little bit on today, but it's not anything that's super noticeable. And I'm going to mess with it a little bit more to see if I can get a little more color payout out of it. Um, all it does is add a little sparkle. I'm not really getting any kind of oomph from it. So we'll see. Like I said, not great success. You can actually see a little bit of, well, maybe you can't see it, but there's a little bit of windowing going on. So I feel like maybe I'm getting some usage out of this, but unfortunately the numbers don't seem to make me feel like I'm getting anywhere. What can you do? It's one of those things that's part of the reason that uh, I'm doing this project the way that I'm doing it is so that I do at least use these products and try and see some movement and see how long it takes me to get through them. And from now on, I will make sure that I take pictures and insert them and I will make sure that I also count my number of uses so that I know at least when I'm moving just even a tenth of a gram, how many uses it's taking me to do that. So thanks for keeping track of me. Like I said, if you like me and this video, stick around, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions to help me make these things feel like they're going faster, throw that in the comments for me because I could use all the help I can get. And until next time, see ya. Bye.